projects. In this video, we are going to explain about the project, which is Suspicious Activity Detection in Exam using YOLO V5. Introduction of the project. During exams, ensuring academic integrity and preventing cheating among students is critical concern for educational institutions. Cheating can take various forms such as copying answers from others using unauthorized materials, accessing information on electronic devices or collaborating with other students. Detecting and preventing these behaviors is challenging as they can occur subtly and quickly. Traditional methods for detecting suspicious activity in exam often rely on manual supervision by invigilators or the use of CCTV cameras. However, these methods can be labor intensive, time consuming and prone to human error. They may also struggle to detect subtle forms of cheating. This project focuses on developing a system for detecting suspicious activity in exam using YOLO V5, which is a deep learning based object detection algorithm to automatically identify suspicious behavior such as cheating. By utilizing deep learning, the system can analyze exam footage in real time, accurately detecting and flagging any irregularities. This approach reduces the need for manual supervision and provides a more effective solution for maintaining academic integrity during exams. Deep learning plays a crucial role in this field by enabling the development of highly accurate and efficient object detection algorithms. These algorithms can handle complex exam environments, adapt to different settings and achieve high levels of accuracy in detecting suspicious behavior. By harnessing the power of deep learning, we can create more robust systems for ensuring fair evaluation and upholding academic integrity in educational institutions. Coming to objective of the project, the goal is to develop an automated system with the primary objective of detecting and flagging suspicious activity during exams. By doing so, the project aims to uphold academic integrity and ensure various fair evaluation process in educational institutions. The project will focus on implementing YOLO V5, an advanced object detection algorithm as a primary tool for detecting cheating behaviors in real time. YOLO V5's capabilities in accurately identifying objects within images or video frames make it an ideal choice for this task. An essential aspect of the project is to evaluate the performance of the developed system rigorously. This evaluation will involve using established evaluation metrics, which is mean average precision, which is MAP. By assessing the system's accuracy and effectiveness, the project aims to ensure that it meets that required standards for detecting suspicious activity during exams. The beneficiaries of the project encompass a wide range of stakeholders within educational institutions. Exam administrators will benefit from a more efficient and reliable method of monitoring exam environments, reducing their workload and ensuring consistent enforcement of academic integrity policies. Additionally, students will benefit from a fairer evaluation process where their performance is assessed based on their own merits without the influence of cheating behavior. Overall, the project aims to enhance the integrity of exams and promote a level of playing field for all the students. To implement this project, we need software and hardware requirements. Coming to software requirements, we need application of Anaconda, primary language of Python, front-end framework of Flask, Backend framework of Jupyter Notebook, database of SQL Lite 3, front end technologies of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. Coming to hardware requirements, we need operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, and hard disk of 25 GB and above. To implement this project, we have designed various steps in the flow of work. So, coming to the first step, which is importing the packages. This step involves importing the necessary Python packages and libraries that are required for the project. We imported TensorFlow for building and training the deep learning model, Flask for creating the web application, SQLite for database management. The next step is importing the dataset. In this step, the dataset containing images of exam environments is imported into the project. The dataset serves as input data for training the deep learning model to detect suspicious activity during exams. The next step is building the model. This step involves designing and building the deep learning model architecture for detecting suspicious activity in the exam environment. The model architecture includes layers for image processing, feature extraction, and object detection with YOLO V5 being popular choice for this task. The next step is training the model. Once the model architecture is defined, the next step is to train the model using the imported dataset. 
During the training process, the model learns to identify patterns and features associated with suspicious activity in exams by adjusting its parameters based on data sets labeled examples. Coming to the next step, which is Flask framework with SQLite for sign up and sign in. This step involves setting up a web application using Flask framework along with integrating a SQLite database for user authentication and management. Users can sign up for an account and sign in to access the system's features. The next step is user gives input. In this step, users interact with the web application by providing input such as uploading exam footage or selecting options related to exam monitoring process. The next step is the given input is pre-processed. Once the user provides input, the system pre-processes the input data to prepare it for further processing and analysis. The next step is train model is used for predicting the result. After pre-processing the input data, the trained deep learning model is applied to the input data to predict the presence of suspicious activity in the exam environment. The model analyzes the input images and identifies any instances of cheating or unauthorized behavior. The last step is final outcome is displayed. Finally, the system displays the results of the prediction to the user indicating whether any suspicious activity was detected during the exam. This information can be used by exam administrators or investigators to take appropriate actions such as for the investigation or intervention to maintain academic integrity during exams. Algorithm which is used for detecting suspicious activity in the exam is YOLO V5, which is you only look once version 5. Before knowing what is YOLO V5, we will know what is YOLO. YOLO stands for you only look once, which refers to a family of object detection algorithms. Unlike earlier methods, YOLO utilizes a single neural network to process the entire image at once. This network predicts bounding boxes and probabilities for each object in the image, making it a very fast approach. Coming to YOLO V5, it is the latest iteration in the YOLO family. Released in 2020, it is known for being user-friendly and achieving high accuracy in object detection tasks. YOLO V5 builds upon the core idea of YOLO while offering improvements like better speed and accuracy, making it a strong choice for real-time applications like suspicious activity detection in exams. YOLO V5 is chosen for its ability to perform real-time object detection with high accuracy, making it ideal for identifying instances of cheating or suspicious activity during exams. Its efficiency and ease of implementation make it a practical solution for monitoring exam environments and ensuring academic integrity. To execute the project, first we have to open the code folder which contains source code files. This is the code folder of the project. This is a static folder. This folder consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap files. This is the templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc., which represent different pages of the website. This is the app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to front-end logic. It includes code written in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database, and generating dynamic content that to be rendered in HTML templates. This is the model file which contains the algorithm information and that will be loaded into the project code during runtime. This is the notebook.ipynb file. This is a Jupyter notebook file which contains a combination of code, graphs and outputs all in one place. It allows users to write and execute code in individual cells, making it a popular choice for the data science. This is signup.db file. This file is a database file used to store the user information. Now we need to copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. So I'm copying the path. Now we have to open the Anaconda prompt. Using the cd command followed by the space, we need to paste the copied path and then click on enter. By this, current directory will change to the code folder's path. So here we can observe that current directory is changed to the code folder's path. Now we need to compile the app.py file. For that, write the command python space app.py and then click on enter. This command will execute python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address which is the local host and the port unless configured differently. So this is the local host and this is the port. Now we need to copy this local link provided by the framework and paste it in any web browser. So I'm copying the link. 
I prefer Google Chrome, so I'll paste it in that. Here we need to paste the link and then click on enter. This is the web page of the project which is displayed in the browser and this web page is built using Flash framework. So to execute the project, initially we need to sign up. For that, click on sign up link. Here we need to enter all the registration details if we are registering newly. I have already registered and I have an account in it, so I'll directly sign in. For that, click on sign in button. Here we need to enter our username and the password to log in. So I'm giving my username and the password and now click on submit. We have logged in successfully and we are redirected to prediction page. So here we can see a choose file button. We need to click on that for uploading examination footage. So I'm clicking on choose file button. These are the sum of the test cases using which we are going to detect whether suspicious activity found in the examination hall or not. So I'm selecting the last image, which is test four and now click on open. So here we can see that examination footage is loaded. Now click on upload. So here we can see that two students are found suspicious in the examination hall and the bounding box is drawn around them and labeled as suspicious activity with the probability score. Now we will try uploading the other footage. Click on try again. This time we will upload test one. Now click on open, click on upload. In this footage also, we can see two students are found suspicious and the bounding box is drawn around them. Now we will try uploading other footage. Click on try again, click on choose file. I'm selecting test three, click on open and now click on upload. So here we can see that multiple students are found suspicious and bounding box is drawn around them. Now click on log out. In this way, just by giving the footage, which is examination footage to the system, it will detect suspicious students found in that footage. So the conclusion of the project is the project has been successfully developed with all planned features implemented and tested. The system effectively detects and flags suspicious activity during exams contributing to the maintenance of academic integrity in educational institutions. The YOLO V5 algorithm is chosen for its real-time object detection capabilities which has performed admirably in detecting cheating behaviors within exam environments. Through rigorous testing and evaluation, the algorithm has demonstrated high accuracy and reliability, meeting the project's requirements for effective monitoring. The YOLO V5 algorithm has been seamlessly integrated into the project using Flash framework with SQLite for user authentication and management. The web application provides a user-friendly interface for administrators to upload exam footage and receive alerts for any detected suspicious activity, enhancing the efficiency and effectiveness of exam monitoring process. There is potential for further enhancement and expansion of the project, including improving the efficiency and accuracy of the detection algorithm, integrating additional features for exam monitoring, and scaling the system for use in larger educational institutions. Additionally, exploring the use of advanced techniques such as reinforcement learning for adaptive monitoring and intervention could further enhance the system's capabilities. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.